What's up everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add Stripe payment gateway to your Shopify store. So first of all, you need to have a Shopify store or sign in and create a Shopify store if you haven't already created one. As you can see here, I am on my Shopify store here, the Shopify page is opened and my store name is uh, seen here at the top and the menu items on the left or the settings or the uh, buttons on the left here. Now, uh, what you want to do is to go ahead and then create a an account on Stripe. Of course, uh, Stripe is a well-known payment gateway that is uh, really easy to use and offers you lots of features and lots of payment methods such as credit cards like Visa, MasterCards and other methods. So it is a great payment method to add to your Shopify store if the country that you are locating your store in or your Shopify store in supports Stripe. And of course, having many uh, payment methods is great for your uh, Shopify store as it offers the clients to the freedom to pay in whichever method they want to. So you have like PayPal uh, supported or added by default, as we will see later. And adding Stripe is a great addition to your payment methods as well. So go to stripe.com and uh, create an account. Here, um, I have already created one. So as you can see here, I can click on the dashboard. The dashboard option is here. I can click on it to uh, view my main uh, dashboard on Stripe here. So uh, if you haven't already created an account on Stripe, I'll show you step by step how to do it. So let's go to this page right here where uh, I haven't created. This is like an, an incognito window. However, it'll uh, serve the purpose of showing you how to create a Stripe account. Here, once you enter stripe.com in the address bar and go to the Stripe website, you will see here, sign in the option to sign in. Just click on it. And here you can go ahead and sign up with your email and password. Or if you go down here, it says don't have an account, then sign up. So here you have the option to sign up. Let's click on it. And here you can enter your email, your full name and your country, your password and then uh, go ahead and continue to create here. Okay. So uh, let's go ahead. I'll just get like a temporary email here from the temp mail uh, web page. So it's like a temporary fake email just to uh, create an account and show you the process. So let's go ahead and copy this email. Of course, if you are creating Stripe for yourself, you should enter your personal account, your personal uh, main account. However, just I'm just going to uh, show you for this tutorial using this method. So let's paste the email here. And here I entered my full name, United States. Let's keep the country as it is. And for the password, let's enter a password. Okay, so we entered a password. Now let's create an account. Let's click on create account. It'll ask me to verify my email. So Easily, I'll go to the temp mail uh, page here. Let's open in a new tab. So let's go to temp mail. Okay, it loaded up the email. And now you can scroll down here and you will get like an inbox of email so that you can verify your email here. Of course, since you are creating for yourself a Stripe account for yourself, your personal Stripe account, you should go ahead and uh, open your main uh, inbox. So let's verify your email. Okay. And now click on verify email and you will be redirected to your dashboard. Now, um, let's click, of course, you can activate payments to fully activate your accounts and add payment methods and so on. So for now, I'm just want to explore more features. So I'll open it. It'll open for me in like this test mode and um, it'll tell me to get in order to get uh, live data or get uh, real live data for my account. I have to activate my account. So let's click on activate your account here just to show you what you need to do. Here, you need to verify your business. So enter some business info, like your business type, your uh, business details. So my business type, uh, you can enter individual company, nonprofit, and then the location, continue. And then your first little details. So your legal name, your email, date of birth, home address, phone number, legal uh, last four digits of your social security number and then your business details, fulfillment details, public details, of course, and your bank in order to accept uh, payments uh, and secure your account, add uh, security uh, measures to your account, authenticator app, 
security key or SMS, add extra features, so like text calculator, climate contribution, and then review your summary of all your settings and finish. Of course, here we have many warnings because we haven't edited anything. Now let's uh, close the activation here and we will run it in test in this test mode just to show you here. Now we have created our uh, Stripe account. Now let's go back to our uh, other one that we created, which is also uh, a test uh, mode, which I haven't activated yet. Now let's go to our uh, shopping price store. We want to go ahead and go to settings and then in the payments uh, tab here, we want to go ahead and then uh, add a payment method. So here we have PayPal, which is uh, available by default. However, it is still inactive since this is like a test account, test Shopify store that I created like uh, before, right before the video, just to show you for the sake of this tutorial. For uh, however, you can go ahead and activate PayPal, enter the PayPal email and sign in and so on. Now, uh, let's add a payment method right here. And then we want to go ahead and search by provider. Type in Stripe. Okay, if it doesn't show, that means it is not supported in your country. And to make sure it is not available in my country, not that this is, there is something wrong with Stripe and uh, Shopify doesn't want to connect to it, let's uh, go back to the payments option here. And let's click on choose a provider from the first menu and then click on add a third party payment provider and then type in Stripe. As you can see here, it says that it is unavailable in my country. However, if we click on it here, it'll open up and it'll uh, like uh, detect my email, the email that I create my Stripe account with. And then it'll ask you to secure your Stripe account. You can either secure it with a mobile number to enter your mobile number here and they can send you a text or use the authenticator app or a security key. So if I click on security key, you will be prompted to enter your security key in the uh, USB here. So click OK, insert your security key into USB port and then you'll be able to secure your account. And once you do secure your account and follow up with these steps here in this wizard, you will be able to connect your Stripe uh, account to your Shopify and then you will be able to accept payments using the uh, Stripe payment method. So um, here I will not uh, go ahead with the uh, steps here. Let's return to Shopify. And once you set up your Stripe account or your Stripe uh, like uh, wizard here and set up your Stripe, you should see here the Stripe method here and you can go ahead and open it and view the different settings and edit them. So uh, that's how easy it is to add Stripe Payment Gateway to use it to collect payments on your Shopify store.